this is uh, Cutie again, and um, I decided to do another one for the painter, and um, maybe I'll do a little explanation too for for Photoshop and uh, painter difference that people don't understand. A lot of times in painter, um, people will often complain that like if you took your brush, for example, I'll use this this one here, that no matter what you do it adds to itself right there and a lot of people don't like that um, because they're used to Photoshop's version of uh, doing things what the difference is, is between painter and Photoshop is um, the opacity settings are a bit different what it is is that painter calculates off of what they call a dab paste dab based opacity the um, dab if you want to call it is actually what this is here over here as you can see my palettes um, if you look at the size it's a circle so anytime that painter does opacity it's based off of each individual little circle there now if you did um, a spacing and you brought it up all the way you'll actually understand what I'm talking about each each circle is based off of that opacity and I'm just clearing the canvas so that people can see this better so if I did um, circle here with the spacing up you can see that of course it adds to itself the lower the spacing the closer the circles get as you can see here um, So once the spacing is lower, you can see that. Um, it really doesn't bother me too much because quite honestly, I'm kind of more of a traditional painter. So this isn't the worst thing in the world. Um, in Painter 11, however, some people, since I said this is a problem for people, there's a new category in here. And I brought up Painter 11 um, with the markers. and. Um, in this one, I kind of made my own, but as you can see here, there's a general, there's circular, senior, and then the new method is marker. What happens with the marker is that um, you can basically go like this, and it shouldn't be adding to itself as much as it used to on um, on the other one. It'll add like on the second stroke, of course, like that. Um, the opacity should be staying the same, and so the addition isn't as apparent as it normally is if you put the opacity up to 100 percent you definitely wouldn't notice as you can see right here there isn't a um, until you of course go right over um like i said in photoshop of course you know if you have a brush with the opacity set it doesn't make that additional stroke until the second one depending on the color of course um, even if the opacity is like down to 20% and if I chose a different color to accent this issue usually I do a control A and backspace to clear the canvas but it doesn't add itself until the second stroke um, I guess that's it. I just wanted to explain that major difference between Photoshop and Painter so that people will stop complaining and maybe actually understand. Um, I just opened up this window here just to show, as you can see, there's shape dynamics in Photoshop, of course, and how you can apply things. Um, i trying to remember if there was an actual, ah, see here, it's the spacing. which I think would affect more of um, a different kind of brush but apparently the spacing it doesn't seem to be the same as uh, as 
painter would be. So I guess that way you can see exactly why that there's a couple of differences between painter and Photoshop. Um, I'll be going back to the keyboard shortcuts now. Um, thank you for watching this one.